good y'all it's leah and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new hi i'm leah and i make videos random videos on anything um just basically for fun today's video is going to be about my hair my hair tutorial and how i get this curly slash wavy voluminous type thing i've been receiving so many questions about this hairdo and this hairstyle from recent pictures that I've been uploading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and more content will be coming soon. The first thing you need to do or have before doing this is to have kind of wet hair. My hair is like, it's kind of wet right now. It's like, I just got out of the shower like 20 minutes ago. Um, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's like not dry, but it's not like fully wet. So I'm gonna braid my hair into six sections so i'm gonna part down the middle and then two of the cornrows going down this way oh i almost forgot the things you need it's very important i usually use this daily hydration leave-in treatment it's like a conditioner but a spray for, spray form um this is by shia moisture it's really good because it helps me detangle if I get tangles in my hair while doing it. You could also use gel, but I don't like sleeping in with braids, like with products in my hair. It just makes me feel like, I don't know, gross. And you need a teaser or a rat comb. You're going to need the little elastics. Like if you don't know how to Dutch braid, then you could, I've never tried it with like regular French braid, but Dutch braid is basically an inverse French braid. So it's like going the opposite. Instead of folding over, you're going under. And then you're gonna part this side. So I usually start with my lower ones first because it's easier to braid that way. So I'd go like, let's see. The sections for me, I usually do about like a little bit more than an inch. I'm gonna braid and then tie this up. I look crazy. I usually put some type of lotion. I know it sounds weird, but like, I don't like using anything else in my hair when I'm sleeping, like mousse or gel or anything like that. I hate it. You're gonna split your hair, your hair piece up into three pieces. Hold my farthest right side with my right hand my left side in between my pointer finger and my middle finger and then i hold my middle strand with my thumb and and um, pointer finger you're gonna use your middle finger go under the middle strand grab onto the right pull out your middle to your right hand go under the middle grab the left and you're gonna repeat if you guys don't know how to do it i'm sure they're easier um videos that will give you more in-depth steps about how to do this because i'm not a really good teacher when it comes to hair and try to do it as tight as possible so that your your waves or your um, braids come out more defined because if you do them like loose it's not gonna work i'm just gonna keep doing this um, to the rest of my braids. crazy but that's how you're supposed to look and then tomorrow morning 
um i'll finish the tutorial the following day so it's the next morning and i just finished my makeup and i have my hair up in this little bun stew the first thing i'm gonna do is plug this curler in this is the bed head tiggy curler that's what i use to make my hair appear more curly than like wavy i look so crazy what i usually do first is i take out all of the little elastics and then i separate it up to a point where i could curl the ends of the bottom parts of my braids are detangled i'm going to take my curler and um just curl the ends and kind of make it more defined this one's a little thick so what i usually do is i'd like split that one in half and then curl the bottom part and keep on doing that until you like what you have. After I've curled all of the pieces, I'm just going to unbraid all of them. So you're basically taking the braids out. Okay, so after this, I usually just like fluff it out, kind of just rub my fingers through my roots. And honestly, you could just leave it like this and maybe like tease it a little, like straight strands like this. I usually go back in with my curler and just curl it a little, but yeah, you guys could literally just wear it like this. But my head just hurts it was too tight but you could do a side part middle parts kind of look crazy because it's just like really big you could do other side part it really depends on what your um likings are your preference on how you like the hair to be like this is the last step if you guys don't want to go out of your way to buy the curler that i have but I highly recommend it because it comes in handy. This little piece right here, curl it. And I try to do um, the opposite way of how I curled that last curl. If it has like different patterns to it, it'll look more natural. I love my straight hair, but you know, sometimes I just wanna change it up. I'm so used to seeing myself with straight hair, so. I'm just gonna look through like this one right here. You see how it's all like zigzaggy? Sometimes I'll just go in with the whole thing. And just curl it. And you could really go in and like separate the thicker pieces so that it's more voluminous. See, it makes a huge difference. Well, to me it does, but. Okay, so I didn't do much curling, but I don't know if I should just lay it down or put it up. I think I'm gonna leave my hair down, but I don't know if I should put it to the side. No, I'm at a party. Nah. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just leave my hair down. But if you guys wanna do more hairstyles, I'll insert some pictures here. My hairstyle, like more options on what to do with this hair. It's pretty simple. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but one last step before I finish this. It's important to tease your hair to add more volume. I'm basically just gonna like tease it up. Kind of like that. See, I don't think you see a difference. It, yeah, there's a difference. Pull this hair back like this. And just mess around with it kind of a little bit more volume and it doesn't really mess up your curls unless you're doing it wrong it just makes it look kind of messy but it's like bigger you know so i'll just keep doing that and look at the difference that's crazy just keep teasing it 
Add some Beach Babe Texturing Dry Shampoo. Mm -hmm. This is the finished product. Um, looks like this. The back looks like this. Oh, I don't know how the back looks like. Hold on. Looks like this. Side. Front. Yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I hope it answers all of the questions that were being asked. And again, it's pretty easy. It just takes a lot of time. So if you guys were to do this, plan ahead. But yeah, this is it. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you guys for watching.